Hey everybody, we're going to go through the rest of the Grand Tournament expansion. We're going to review all the neutral cards in 5 minutes or less. Starting now, Made into the Lake. Good in Inspired decks, but that's pretty much it. Silverhand Re Regent. Uh, decent in Paladin decks, bad in everything else. Lowly Squire. Pretty much the Undertaker of Inspire, but probably won't see much play. North Sea Kraken. Uh, not very good. Tournament Medic. Really weird stats, probably not good enough, maybe in a Priest deck, that's about it. Flame Juggler. Uh, maybe a control deck, uh, not very good. Uh, Clockwork Knight. Only mech in the entire expansion, interesting, but probably too slow for mech decks. Silent Knight. Really weird abilities, not good enough stats, just not going to see play. Argent Horse Rider. Good in aggro decks, pretty much a cheaper Wolf Rider for one less attack. Not cheaper. Uh -huh. All right. Mookless Champion. Just horrible. Gadgetan Jester. Maybe Zombie Chow, maybe not. Too inconsistent, not good. Lance Bearer. Hobgoblin Synergy, that's about it. Cavalier Raider. <laughs> Basically a neutral floating watcher, not that good though. I think it costs too much to combo. Bone Guard Lieutenant. Uh, probably a decent uh, low drop in Inspire decks, that's about it. Tournament Attendee. Reverse Golchar Footman, just not good. Captured Jormungar. <laughs> not impactful enough. Refreshment Vendor. Good against aggro, since they don't their health doesn't really matter, but that's about it. Dragonhawk Rider. Seems pretty shit. I'd rather run uh, Raging Morgan. Frigid Snowballed. Interesting. They're adding more spell damage, but it's pretty shit overall. Would not run it. Pit Fighter. Seems insane in Arena. I wouldn't be surprised if this got run and constructed. Just really good stats. Evil Heckler. Power Creep. Uh, cheaper Booty Bag Bodyguard, but still shit overall. Power Creep. Uh, Ice Rager. Power creep. Uh, no, just not good enough. Coliseum manager. Overall, really shit. Uh, returning it to your hand and then having to play it again is just terrible. I don't know why you do it. Argent watchman. Uh, just not very good. I'd you'd rather just run ancient watcher. Armored warhorse. Not really good. Not good in aggro. Not that good in control. Just bad overall. Injured cavalier. Um, uh, maybe priest, but seems bad. Master gesture. Maybe good in a Paladin or any control type deck, but that's about it. Lights Champion. Uh, would be interesting if there were more demons with uh, bad effects that you want to silence. Other than that, wouldn't see play. Saboteur. Interesting to ca counter like Wilfred Fizzlebang or the Priest Legendary, I can't remember, but that's about it. Fencing Coach. Uh, probably any Inspire deck would want this guy. Really good with Wilfred Fizzlebang or uh, any other Inspire cards. Mogar's Champion. Overall, not that good. Really low health, but and also with a big downside, so probably not that good unless Ogre decks become a thing. Uh, Twilight Guardian. Maybe this is what uh, Dragon decks needed. Uh, we'll see if that becomes a thing. Recruiter. Overall, not that good. You're paying a lot for not that good stats. Won't see play. Uh, Sideshow Spell Eater. Really interesting mechanic, but overall, I don't know any class that wants to do this effect. Frost Giant. Overall interesting, good for late game after it's become really cheap and it finally becomes in your hand. Don't know if it'll see much play. Maybe in handlock, but that's about it. Coda Rider. Seems way too slow. Garrison Commander. Interesting, really good for Inspire decks, but that's about it. Master of Ceremonies. Pushes a new archetype. Don't think this is enough to push it. Crowd favorite. Basically questing adventurer with better stats, but only on battle cry. Uh, probably won't see much play. Grand Crusader. Uh, really only good in Paladin, uh, and, and I, even then I don't know if it's that good. Sky Captain Crag. Basically the pirate equivalent for old Merc guy, but instead of attack it's just cheaper. Probably won't be good. Just a card True Heart. Really want to see this card uh, in Constructed, but low health and maybe too slow. Nexus Champion Sarad. Really interesting, huge variance for RNG, but would be pretty interesting to see in an Inspired deck. Ida's Darkbane. Uh... Seems pretty decent. Uh, probably in some Paladin slash Priest decks would be really strong. Uh, Forge uh, Lightbane. Pretty much the same as the last one, but Divine Shield instead. It'll it'll see interesting play in uh, Priest or Paladin. The Skeleton Knight. It's just horrible. Gormok the Impeller. Maybe good in aggro or zoo. Uh, pretty hard to pull off, but it'd be good in any aggro-ish deck. Ice Howl. Uh just doesn't seem good enough maybe like a druid might want it bolf ram shield basically an anti heal bot for one mana more and heals you one more but that's pretty much it choma 
Uh, could be really good in dragon decks. Would depend on if they become a thing. All right. Uh, that's it for all of the cards in the Grand Tournament expansion. Uh, we hope you liked our review, and we will be back with more stuff after the expansion has come out, and we've gone over the cards. All right. See you guys.